In real life, though, the ingredients that you need for this method aren't just the extinct animal's DNA. You need a whole living cell, because cloning is actually a very specific scientific technique. The long name is somatic cell nuclear transfer. It means removing the nucleus out of an egg cell and replacing it with the nucleus of a body or somatic cell of the animal you want to clone. And then you put that egg with its new nucleus into an animal where it can grow. And this actually works. Almost. People tried this in the early 2000s with an extinct species called the Bucardo. These animals are so cool. But by 2000, there was only one Bucardo left. But luckily, this was four years after Dolly the sheep was famously successfully cloned. So in an attempt to save the species, some quick thinking biologists put tissue samples from the remaining Bucardo in storage. And then they were able to take the nucleus from those cells and put them into the cells of domestic goat hybrids. And in 2003, a baby Bucardo was born. Unfortunately, their first clone that was born had a, a malformed lung and didn't survive. Um, this hasn't been tried again. So we are able to clone animals when we have living cells, which is wild. But unlike the Bucardo, nobody carefully preserved the whole cells of a mammoth. The biggest challenge is needing those living cells in the first place, because it turns out that cells have a shelf life. Once an animal dies, their cells are typically pretty short-lived, dying off within hours or days. But freezing can dramatically slow this process, which is why there's been hope that animals found preserved in ice, like this 40,000-year-old baby mammoth, might have some usable cells. But so far, no revivable cells have been found. So cloning is hard. But we've got one more option. 